Okay, this is what we're gonna create in this video pretty quickly, actually. Now I'm gonna mute the media and the, what I'm gonna show you is how to create these transition using the paper. I'm not gonna show you how to add these sound effects and stuff because that takes, that's just for you to experiment and stuff like that, all right? Okay, first of all, you have two clips. On the first clip, you don't have to do anything. I did a couple of like modifications here on the speed curves just to play around a little bit more. But here we can just leave these like these. Now on the second clip, first of all, we're gonna find that frame that we wanna use for the freeze frame. We're gonna cut these right here and I'm gonna copy these to the top, holding Alt. I'm gonna freeze frame this first one and now we can get rid of the initial portion and now we have our first freeze frame. On the freeze frame, we're gonna right click, open this infusion. If you don't have the magic mask, you can use a polygon mask, a mask around the subject. If you have the magic mask, we're just gonna use a magic mask. So we're gonna go to frame zero, first of all, try to select our subject right here. And we need to have a little bit of a hair on our subject right here. And I'm gonna subtract this a little bit on the side too. That is good enough for what we wanna do. Okay, after you have your mask right here, if you use the magic mask, add a time stretcher. And then we're going to set this up to be at zero. That way we don't have to track this whole thing. And you are set with the first frame with the magic mask. Okay, now first of all, we're going to go to effects and we're going to add a paper effect. So go to paper and now paper edge. That way we have that little bit of an edge right here. And here we're going to get rid of the softness and also set this up to 0.5. That way we don't have any drop shadow on this because that will affect our paper effect that we want to use if we have that drop shadow. Okay, you can play around with the settings on this one and make these however you look, want it to look. What you saw in the intro was the Paperful Clash 10, so we're going to use that same one. Here, what you want to do is, first of all, we're going to try to match the size of the paper. So going to Paper Based Transform, and I'm going to make these smaller like that. I'm going to rotate these so that it's covering our subject mostly like that. And after you've gotten to the position where you want it to be, I'm going to change these to be on the media view section. I'm going to change these to paper view. And then I'm going to change the apply mode to normal. If, if you want, you can leave it at hard light. I'm using normal because we're going to have a few extra frames that you saw here, which are the ones of it becoming smaller. And if we leave the paper effect that has the texture, then it will look a little bit different or it has a different jump in there. But that's okay if you want to leave it like that as well. All right, so if we have these playing like that, we have a default right there. Now, inside the paper flow, I'm gonna make these bigger, like that, and I'm gonna position these right here. That way we have that fold out a little bit more easy to see because otherwise it will be too small, right? What I did for the next part was I actually cut this right here, and I'm gonna copy these because we have the times, uh, we have the magic mask and the time stretcher at frame zero. If we use this other one and we cut it, then the magic mask and the time stretcher don't know what's happening and it will just stay black. Now, in this case, I'm going to get rid of the paper fall effects right now because otherwise the animation will start again. Or you can actually just deselect the in and it will show up in the same place. And then we can just make these a little bit smaller and adjust the position inside the effect itself. If you don't want to do that and you just want to get rid of the effect just because... I don't think it will have any effect on the render speed if you leave it on like that because it doesn't have any animation happening anymore. But we can leave these like these for now. We have that second position right here. And I had a second one that is a little bit smaller. Again, closer to the initial point right here. If I set this to default, move this to the side a little bit, then make these bigger. Then we have it right there. And then the last touch is a flash transition, which was just a normal transition that we have right here, which is called brightness or brightness flash. And that's how you can create the animation. Now, what you have to do is polish the timing of it and add a few sound effects, and then you end up with something like this. If you don't have the Paperful Effects Pro, you can actually find a demo for it at paperfulleffects.com. Or if you want to build your own paperful effect, I do have one video showing you the exact process of how you can build your own paperful effect from scratch. And that is it for this video. See you in the next one.